Okay, here's a quick tutorial on using uh, the USGS real-time water data. Let me uh, run through this real quick. I've got Texas up here. This is a link from your assignment. And I'm going to pick a river up here, one of these light blue dots in North Texas, because I know it rained up there when this cold front came through the other day. So I click on the dot, and it pulls up a page, and I want all the parameters. Right now it's showing me the graph for seven days. There's seven. And you look at the graph and it's got the days across the bottom. April 5th, April 6th, April 7th, um, 8th, 9th, and, and so on. And then going up the side over here on this axis is the discharge in cubic feet per second. And you can see the blue line, which is the cubic feet per second. So on April 5th, it was running at about 10 cubic feet per second. You can think of a cubic feet as a cubic foot as about a bucket. So about 10 buckets of water flowing through this river per second, and slowly, 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 it went down all the way to. Let's draw the line across all the way to about one cubic foot per second, and then all of a sudden you see this big spike, and you go, well, what? How? How? What happened there? to 1,000 cubic feet per second. So it went from one cubic feet foot per second to 1,000 in one day. And that's the day we had all the rainfall. And now you can see that it's slowly, slowly coming down. Chances are they're using that uh, with some kind of dam that's letting the water out. And here the gold triangles that I'm pointing out, these are the averages. This is over the lifespan of this river on this particular day, this is where the water level probably should be. And you can see, for example, that here on April 11th, the mean is usually about two feet. However, it got all the way up to 1,000 feet on that particular day. But what I asked you to do is come up here and change this number of days to 60, and click on that to go. It changes up your, your graph. And now we can look at a 60-day graph of the entire river. And you can see that um, normally it's higher right through here. However, in March it got really low, and then it spiked here, and it spiked here. And there's also a little bit of a spike right in right in here. So you can interpret that as probably a rainfall event or something that made the water level go really high. However, the water level should normally be down here. And then that's what you can, uh, that's what you can tell me about in addition to having the minimum CSF, which is uh, one, the, what else, the mean, which is right through here, the gold, num the gold triangles, and the maximum, which looks like it was a thousand in over the last sixty days, and then how do they how do all these compare? And take that, write it up to copy this. You can right click on it. That's what I did here. Save picture as, save it onto your computer somewhere, and then go get that and pop it into uh, insert it into a Word document, or you can insert it directly into your message. Anyway, uh, holler back if you have any other questions.